today we're going to be looking at a new art topic called Through the Hedge. Lots and lots of different artists all over the world use different um, stimuluses to begin their pieces of work. In this Key Stage 2 art lesson, I wanted to focus the children's attention on the outdoor natural environment and to combine their observations with their key art skills that they've learnt during their time in Key Stage 2, as well as providing them with new art skills to create a piece of work that they can be really proud of. We call this lesson Through the Hedge. So we're going to start off by having a look at a range of different artists' work. It's really important to take time at the beginning of these lessons to look really carefully and in detail at examples of artists' work in a similar style and looking at similar stimulus. So for example, we looked at artists such as Vincent van Gogh and Claude Monet and looked really, really carefully at the irises and leaves and the flowers that they have incorporated into their paintings. So in this picture here, you can see there's a whole range of bushes and trees that are quite far away in the picture. And are therefore when you're drawing them going to look quite small in comparison to the items in the foreground we can see quite clearly some of the designs on the leaves and the branches a little bit more distinctly so you're going to have to think about the perspective in your pieces of artwork as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to use the viewfinders and you're going to need to find an area of the hedge that you can hold that up against the purpose of the viewfinder is to really focus the children's attention on a small area rather than them trying to draw the whole playground. It's really important that they spend time looking really closely at items in our natural environment. We encourage them to be really precise and specific in what they're looking for so that it incorporates a range of different leaves, of different colours and possibly flowers as well. Look, Callum, why don't you use that one? Because that one's like easier. Ooh, right on the side. Yeah. Some children find using cameras and modern technology a really good way to start in an art project as it doesn't involve having to put pen to paper at the very, very beginning. Here are some examples of some artwork that was done last year so that you can start to get an idea now of what your final piece of artwork is going to look at. Sometimes it's hard for children to imagine the final product purely through description itself. So having examples of work allows them to have a starting point in their head to then work from. They've used brusho dies to incorporate them together to then create this picture here. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to use your sketches in your sketchbooks and you're going to use a large square of paper and you are going to enlarge all of the ideas that you have seen to create and to design your final piece of artwork. We are going to start by using our sketching skills and our design skills to decide where to put things on the page really, really lightly. The what first thing we do is the teacher demonstrate how to set out and lay out the work across the page, thinking about spatial awareness, thinking about the shapes and encouraging children to use very specific sketching skills to make sure they end up with a final piece of work that they're really pleased with. All the paint is all sorted and organised to be able to provide swift transitions between each step within an art activity. The children need to use good quality pointed brushes to enable them to provide really accurate outside edges in their artwork to end up with a really good precise finish. We use good quality cartridge paper as it allows the paint to be absorbed really quickly and easily and it stops the children having a difficulty of having to paint with wrinkly paper which can happen with less good quality paper. At the end of the lesson we always try to have a look at some examples of the children's work that they have done throughout the lesson. This is really important so that the children can see the successes of the other children and also to look at the trends and areas to improve for the class in the future. 
but well done, you've done really well. Now the exciting part, we need to get packed up, sorted and organised in three 